Hey everybody, welcome to Sex, Lies, and Parenthood, and I am so fucking excited today. <laughs> I'm already cursing. We have Dr. Sandra Zickerman with us. Ooh. Mm. Um, Sandra and I met via Clubhouse, right? Which you are dominating right now. Oh my God, you are all over Clubhouse. Say hi to every people. Like a, like a wet rag. <laughs> <laughs> Slutty rag. Hi, everybody. So Sandra is, um, how do you, how, like a mommy influencer? How do you say what you do? Because honestly, you help so many people and you reach over what, like over 14,000 people right now, just on Facebook alone. Yeah. So combined it's 23,000. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So I'm a content creator, um, mommy blogger, influencer. I mean, the, the, uh, my American friends, you guys, you guys like to use the word influencer yes, here in Canada. We, Canada. We, we do this to it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's what I am. A content creator, a mommy influencer. I'm now coaching, which is really exciting. So that's really fun. I'm helping moms and influencers as a whole go from hashtag gifted to hashtag pay. Which is a huge I like deal. That. I love that. Yeah, yeah um, it's a huge because- deal we get offers all the time for like, Hey, do you want to try this product to use the product for free? And it's like, no, No, I don't want to do that. So I don't understand even what the next steps are. You have hustle. Like you go out there and you hit up brands, like huge brands, like Walmart, like huge brands. How the hell, right? Like how did it go from mommy? Just like the penis. Oh, sorry. (laughs) <laughs> it's true. sorry it's true. let's get back to serious talk serious talk we don't have to it's fine okay <laughs> but how did you make the leap because you've been doing this way longer than most people I've been doing this for 10 years I started with my Facebook group the mom rant and now it's been rebranded to the mom rant and rave but before that um I taught for 10 years at the University of University of uh, University of Toronto here in Toronto Ontario um yeah, so I have the PhD, so I did that. And then I was like, eh, uh, too much bureaucracy. Um, and so then I became a content creator, but it was by chance because I just started Facebook group because when I looked at my husband, I said, uh, we got into an argument over who has a harder, men or women? And ugh, what a dumb question. Such a dumb question. Of course we do. <laughs> course. It's, dumb. <laughs> it's dumb. Yeah, but what did your husband say? <sighs> what do you think he said? <laughs> oh, men. No, like hard. that. Yeah. Me, me, me. Okay. <laughs> well, That's pretty much what happened. How, how, how did he feel about you going into the social media realm? And uh, was he okay with being on camera? Did he like get annoyed? Because I know I've been dealing with this for about 14 years with her. Mm-hmm. And, and my whole life has been spewed out over you know public <laughs> means <laughs> for com- public consumption and uh so i'm kind of wondering how he feels about it it's a great question so kevin is uh, he's a bundle of joy he's just a bundle of joy <laughs> it's funny in your videos maybe you just make him that way i don't know <laughs> no he's he's pretty funny but i he has no choice i force him <laughs> that's <laughs> that's what i did i bind his arms and i force him <laughs> I was like, listen, <laughs> I, I get told to do that again, you know, but like a lot of my stuff. And I think yours is too, especially with the yeah. kids, organic, right? You see yes. happening and you're like, oh shit, let's, let's catch this moment. So a lot of times I'll just say, Hey, what was that again? You have an And I'll just start recording them. You just kind of get as a content creator, you start to kind of hear those moments of like, oh mm. shit, this is either funny. It's a learning moment or it's our chance to be vulnerable and teach people. For sure communication so that's been a huge thing so he's along for the ride he's 100 percent behind this yes I- uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, for me for me i'm just no. nervous about it because i don't want to be an imposter and it just well those things you know i i, I want to be legitimate I, I it's just i don't know it's weird for me because i'm not used to well, I should be used to it, but I'm just still not used to like people wanting to hear me. <laughs> Do you come into that in your coaching business now with everyone saying imposter syndrome, imposter syndrome, imposter syndrome? Not really. Like I haven't heard anybody yet say that to me. I feel that I'm well equipped to, to coach people about it. If I wasn't, I wouldn't be doing it because like, right. I don't believe in any fakery shit, but I, you know, tell it like it is. 
Kevin doesn't enjoy doing it all the time. I'm going to be honest, he doesn't, but there's certain times where it calls for it. Mm -hmm. You know, Brand and I have done a deal where it involves the family and him. And actually I have one brand that constantly wants him in the forefront because yeah. the women do like him. I get a lot of DMs about him. He's a funny. Lot. He's like he's funny. unintentionally funny. Yeah, he's <laughs> funny, but he's also like, like hella old. And I like to poke fun at him. He does not look old, Stop But he is old. He's really old. How much older old. did you go for? How much so older? He's, he's 11 years older than me. Damn, Santa. Yeah, he's old. He's old. So. Ow, and your kids are how old? My old, uh, eldest is nine, and then I have a seven and a half year old, and then a five year old. Ouch. Ouch, I know, yeah. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the struggle, you guys know, the struggle's real, man. The struggle's you know, real. but oh, yeah. like, when they start to get older, the content has to change, because they're not into it. Like, uh, my, our two are just not. No, I've heard that, that, that happens. Anymore. I mean, it's just, let's be realistic, right? They get oh. to an age where they just want to be on YouTube or on their video games and you don't have sure. any like cool, cute moments anymore. Yeah. So really it's become about <laughs> us and strengthening right. our relationship. Um, so sweet. Yeah, our, our, our ten, our well, we're not with each other. I mean, we'll ask our, we'll ask our no, 10 year old to do something and he's like, Dude. You know, right exactly your yeah. noises and i'm like, I'm like oh god i can't what, can edit you that. like just can you just talk <laughs> like try again speak, please use some words well the hardest <laughs> part i don't know if it's hard for you is when you're like just like let's just do this quickly and then we can enjoy ourselves for sure so, for sure we we don't do a lot of takes in this house we probably should do more takes no you're um, like other creators cool. yeah sure. yeah i like it better <laughs> i don't like yeah, it's better editing and all the but this some things, good. some things need to be edited. Right. Like something should be edited, but generally speaking, everything is off the cuff for me and I enjoy what I do that much that I still do it. So that's the shock. Burnout because we literally took a summer hiatus. I yeah, you did. TV. So I was like, yep. you know what? TV takes a hiatus. We're taking a hiatus because I started yes. to feel like I was forcing content. I was like living to post instead of like living and then, oh, let's post about it. Right. So we took a hiatus and because I was getting stressed out. How do you yeah. balance all of this? I don't know how you- I don't, there's no balance. I have no balance. I, I have no strategies for success in that front. <laughs> I am totally, um, I have no, ba I actually was looking at myself the other day and I was like, girl, like you need to like take a poo in peace and like take some time for yourself. I say it all the time that I, I want to take time or I take time, but I'm not actually taking the full time that I, I should be doing. So I have said, I made an agreement with myself that this summer, summer's not over yet. I am going to take three full days off of social. I've never That's done that before in 10 amazing. years. It's still, summer. still, I mean, we don't go back to school until September the 8th, I think, or whatever the day is that they That's go back to school, but time. I am going to take off three days. I just mm -hmm. haven't figured out when, but I'm going to take off three full days. Well, especially because when they go back to school, that's when I feel like, okay, we'll be ramping up again. Mm -hmm. Right. I love about your rooms on Clubhouse through the mom rant is that it gives us a chance as parents to literally just say whatever's on our mind. Right. I feel like I'm being judged. Um, sometimes I get amazing advice. Most of the times I get great advice. Um, and the rant rooms are just your way of just saying, you know what? Fuck today. <laughs> like, yes. fuck this kid. Fuck yeah. this man. Sometimes I trust you. Fuck this man. <laughs> it, it, makes you feel, you. it makes you feel normal. Right. Because, like, oh my God, it's not just me. Well, and that's a huge thing with your brand is that parenting isn't perfect. There's no such thing as perfect. No. Parenting isn't perfect, and there's, there's no, no such thing as Jesus. All these books out there. I'm like, dude, <laughs> look, look, like you obviously have no children. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Who, I love the people who like try to tell you how to raise your kid. That don't oh yeah, my kids. god. And then all of a sudden they have kids, and they're like, uh, oh like, shit, yeah, yeah. It's so easy, isn't it? It's just easy. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's actually. Um, I always say this, but there's no such thing as like the ideal in anything. No. Right. Um, you know, ideal beauty, ideal parent, ideal way of living your life. There's no right, um, perfect answer and no one knows all the answers. So it's something that we just have to like go with the flow. You know, if the kids are not going to be, you know, if they're going to be on technology all day, they're going to be on technology all day. And there's certain, certain things that you can control, but other things you've got to just let go. You got to let it go. 
So you drive yourself crazy. Right. And yeah. your rooms make me feel normal, um, especially with the technology, because during right. COVID, I mean, what the f- I'm not like a merry-go-round. Like I no. can't be everything to you all the time. Exactly. And so when I was in one of your rooms and all the parents kind of agreed, like, fuck it, put them on tablets. Like, yeah, we're not going to be doing like crafts every day. It's just not realistic. It made me feel so good. And honestly, my kids know so much from YouTube. Like they, For they, sure. start, they start New telling facts us every stuff. day. My daughter's <laughs> like, Hey, did you know this about Michigan? And I'm like, <laughs> no, no, I didn't. <laughs> You're so smart. So I like, it. Hey, what happened in this state? And I'm like, I don't know what happened. She'll tell me. I'm like, where'd you learn that? Uh, YouTube. <laughs> when your yeah, Facebook did. group took off, mm-hmm. did you think it was going to get as big as it's become? No, no. I just, it was like six of my closest friends. We just got together and we were like, um, well, I said, let's do this. And they, and they did it and they added their friends and blah, blah, blah. I never thought anything of it. I didn't think I was going to be able to monetize it. That was not the intention. I was still teaching. I was still a university professor at that point. I was eight and a half months pregnant when I defended my thesis. Mm. And yeah, yeah. And then I, the, the room started the same year. So it was 2012. So it's, uh, yeah, I, I was, you know, I never, there was no intention. It wasn't intentional. There was no, I didn't plan for it. It just kind of happened. And it's been a lot of life lessons, right? With a lot of failures along the way as well, which I always talk about. Um, but yeah, it's been really fun. It's been a great ride and I continue to do it because I still love it. Once I stop loving it, that's when I stop. How do your brands that you work with, do they just know like you're raw and honest? Like I had him watch your bathing suit video where you asked about waxing and you're literally. Uh, I love it. Yes. Love it. Very Thank hairy you. down Thank there. So and he's like, oh my fucking God. Thank but you. how do, do you, do you straight up tell the brands you're going to work with? Like, listen, like if you haven't looked at my page, look at my page. So you know what you're getting into. Oh, for sure. I think that they all look at my page as okay. a starting point. Um, typically. You know, the ones, especially that I've been working with for a long time, they just know me by now. But the new ones, I say, I always give links like, here's where you can find me on social. Check me out, you know, and let's go together. They typically hire me for the fun content, though. Funny and fun content. Sometimes it's serious. Generally, it's fun and funny. So if you're looking for a fun and funny content creator, that's me. I'm not going to be the Pinterest cookie cutter, picture perfect uh, creator. I will never be that. And I have no intention of being that it's very boring for me. Um, and that's not me, nothing to do with me. I've noticed a lot of like some of the moms that I follow are following in those footsteps of like, finally being vulnerable, finally being real instead of the cookie cutter, um, Instagram that they want everybody to see. I, cause that, right. that straight up intimidated me for a while because I'm like, I'm a shit show. I've said, I'm a shit show. We talk about the <laughs> shit show on the podcast. I talk about it on the Instagram page. And I just started to feel like, God, I, am, should I not admit that I'm a shit show? Like, no. should we not be oh, vulnerable? Okay. Like how, right. Can we monetize that? That's though? called, that's called life. And she gets worried <laughs> about called- monetizing because, uh, well, especially with the podcast, having sex in the it. Word and I'm sex like, in it. it doesn't bother anybody. I've told it to so many people. They're like, oh, that's perfect. And like, they get it. You know, they, they mm-hmm. realize when it's all put together, they get the whole concept. So is it just a matter of taking so that much. leap? Yeah, it makes sense. Saying, like, this is our brand and this is what we can bring to the table. How, like, what do you coach other bloggers or influencers when oh, so number you, how do we take the leap? What do we do next? Well, number one is be intentional. Like you guys have had this, this name has been with you for a while now, yeah. right? You've, you've been yeah. doing this for a while, um, you know, and this takes time and labor for you guys to create these, these podcast episodes, editing, yeah. editing, uh, all the work that goes into it. Your kids um, ask you, why is mommy still on her phone? And are you like, I'm <laughs> editing. I say that all the time. I'm working. I'm not just on my fucking phone. Yeah. Or even Clubhouse now, because Clubhouse has totally taken over. I need to slow down a little bit, but um, <laughs> I don't know how, I really don't know how you do it. It's a lot. It's a lot, but it's great. Cause that's like my coaching clients have come from Clubhouse. They've mm-hmm. come from Clubhouse. They're not from Instagram. They've but come from Clubhouse. You also so much value. So I'm happy you're doing it. Like from a personal perspective. Thanks. Like, you're like so you're sweet. It, but yeah. It yeah. A time. It takes a lot of time, but it's really um, amazing to see. Like I had this gentleman who I was working with who is a a male doula. Okay, I've never heard of a male doula before. It was really cool. 
And I coached him, I helped him to ask the hospital in his local area to sponsor him. That's amazing. So it's like something you don't think about because hospitals right. do have budgets and blah, 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 and all that stuff. But he was like so thankful and it was something so cool like that, like a male yeah. doula. And you don't hear that too often. So I think that you can just take this to the next level. There's so many different ways of partnering with, I mean, for me right away for you guys, the first thing that comes to mind is like a Trojan, a Durex, KY Jelly. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason why I see this- sex toys? Sex toys, unless it's a big, yeah. big company. Right. Big company. If you want, like a local company won't really pay so much. They yeah. might give you a little stipend, but if you want actual money coming in, those are the big ones. And it's because of the sex in front of the lies in parenthood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what I would do. That's, I mean, you know, I had, I think I told you this, but I had uh, a show on XM satellite radio way yeah. back also when I first started and it was a really highly charged profane sexually charged when I say sexually charged I mean f-bombs we were like the dirtiest stuff you've ever heard in your life I was talking about it and I really enjoyed it and um but finding sponsors at that point was challenging right mm -hmm. now I probably would have more you know it'd be easier not maybe not necessarily easier but you know might be you know more in line but for you guys, because of the title, just as the title as a whole, like just creating a media kit for it and saying, here's all the episodes we've done, right? Right. And Have this you is ever where turned a brand down? Have you yes. ever said, no, I'm not going to do that? Yes, you many times. About it or you don't want to say why? No, I can, I can talk about it. Um, so there's one brand that paid a whole bunch of other influencers and wanted to do something with me free. Oh. What? Oh. Yeah. How did you know? Me that and one other person. How did you know they were paying everybody else? You just because asked. I knew somebody. That they <laughs> ah. I got really pissed off. I was like, really? And the thing is, like, I've never bought a follower. So my shit is real. It's not, mm -hmm. there's no fake pod sitting. There's no like for like, follow for follow. And, you know, they wanted to pay the people because they had higher follower accounts, even if they had bought their followers. And mm -hmm. so... For me, that's a big no-no, and I will never do that stuff. And so that was the reason, I think, why, because their numbers were higher, which is fine. It is what it is, but I said no to them. There's been other occurrences, like situations where they wanted me. There's a company that wanted me to eat a bacon burger. I won't say the name, the brand. It doesn't right. matter. I don't eat bacon. And uh, so I had to turn it down. It was big. People were like, I can't believe you're turning them down. Like, are you a fucking I'm not going to lie. Hell no. I, right. I can't stand that shit. Like, what so that's pod? that's you had on one of your stories i don't know what a pod is so i yeah. know you're and like just said you're all about too. being vulnerable what is a pod though a pod what is a pod so a pod is when you're in a, a like you're in a chat on the dms with multiple people and you say here's my story here's my post can you comment on it i'll comment on yours so everybody just posts their their stuff in that pod mm -hmm. And then let's say I post my thing in that pod and then six or seven people comment on it, same six or seven people. And then they post their stuff saying I posted. And then the six or seven people also comment on theirs. Oh, to to so boost the algorithm because you get more of a boost when there's engagement. But you have real that's engagement. Right. That's what we've always been yeah. about. Like, I, don't, I, I don't want like real the, engagement. I don't like the fake shit. Which means yeah. you have to work a little harder, right? So to it's a lot algorithm. of work. Yeah. Which is why I got burnt out this summer. I was like, I'm, I'm going to take off. <laughs> no. I can't do no, it. And, you, and just... you needed it. Everybody needs a break. Yes. Yeah. We you had know, some like, other seriously. family stuff pop up too. So. I know. I'm so, by the way, I'm so sorry. You know, so. between the two of us, we had five people die in six months. Yeah. It's crazy. Well, and, and not even COVID related. Yeah. Just I've, I'm so like, sorry. So many people since uh, September of last yeah. year. That's so. crazy. I'm really sorry. Yeah. Well, listen, well, we're back. And we're we're getting back into it. This is and... like amazing to be able to talk to you like face to face. I love, I it. love you so much. <laughs> I miss you so much. And there's I'll been a lot of changes. So this is nice. You're going to come well, back. Yeah, send me and then send me what other your where when your rooms are. And we'll tell everybody. So if you guys aren't part of Clubhouse now, please get, you know, sign on because everybody can sign on now, right? Like, yes, everybody's beautiful. on it. And yep. then how do they find you on Clubhouse? 
So I'm under the mom rant at the mom rant. You can find that's me. how you are on Instagram too. At the mom rant. Yeah. At the mom rant though. My name on clubhouse is Dr. Sandra because of the PhD. Right. I did a name change because I, I like deserved it. I don't know why I wasn't using it beforehand, but yeah, my name you is. It, at, bitch. You better kinda, fucking yeah, I did. Shit. So like I paid for that shit. <laughs> it's true. And yes, I did pay for that shit <laughs> in labor, in labor and in and, cost. Right. And financially, right? right? Oh yeah. my God. And then the Facebook group, if you are yes. a parent that needs a space to rant, I love that group. I really, really do. The moms there are, are smart. They're funny, but people really need help. Genuinely ask for help. How do we find you on Facebook? So on Facebook, it's, you would look up the group, the mom rant and rave. That's the okay. new name of this. So there's only one bigger one. There's a smaller one uh, that was like a knockoff. Cause you know, people always like to create knockoffs. You know, you've made it when there's a knockoff. Um, <laughs> nah, just kidding. You're flattered. Oh my God. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. <laughs> they, they really like I made you. it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's called the mom rant and rave. And it's, that's the Facebook community. That's how you can find me. And then on Instagram as well. So that's the mom rant on Instagram. And where else am I? That's it. LinkedIn, I'm starting to get on there. Okay. Not so much. Pinterest slowly getting on there. I need to get on more. Well, it's Pinterest for the SEO, blah, blah, blah. Yes. And then yes. Like TikTok, I've been studying for about two years. And I'm trying to figure out like, because as an influence, like what part of you do you want to show the world, right? Because true. There's, I'm not just a mom. I'm not just a wife. I'm not yes. just a podcast producer. There's so much more to me. Yes. But like, then what's your niche, right? Everybody says niche down. Yes. I don't know if I can do that. Uh, TikTok for me has been a total, I don't know. Like, okay. I, well, I mean, I had a, like one video that went viral, um, right. which was, I think I told you about this, but I was at the zoo, Toronto Zoo with my middle son, Benny, and there was a rhino peeing and it was peeing green. And I just had my camera and I just started filming. And then the kids in the background are like, it's Gatorade. And that went viral. So, <laughs> what, what, but that's the problem for me. It's like the content that we work on and that feels strong. To, that was just like off the wind. But the stuff that we work hard at, mm -hmm. even if it's not take after take, even if it's one shot, yeah. doesn't hit it. But that shit right. does. Right. It's infuriating for me. Yeah. So. That's, That's why I'm not into it. We have to always have our camera ready because you never know what fucking stupid shit's going to happen. And then yeah. that's what goes viral. And that's what I had to get my head out of. And I don't know if you tell all your influencers just like, don't worry about what's going to go viral. Worry about being yeah. real and vulnerable. Real and vulnerable. Exactly. Be yourself. Be yourself. So what are you doing with the kids the rest of the summer? I know you guys have had like camps. I'm dropping them off at your house. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> my kids will babysit. Yeah. I won't be. <laughs> as long as you're okay with a 10 year old and a nine year old watch. I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine. I'm no, honestly, they're in camp. They're in a dance camp now. They're doing some like um, dance fun things. Mm -hmm. And I think we're just going to chill. We went away to two resorts, which was a lot of fun, local resorts in Ontario, Love that. which was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, we're just going to chill for the rest, I think, unless something pops up. That's our plans. How about you guys? <laughs> working on the house and working. <laughs> that's good Literally, i'm launching someone else's brand so i'm so obsessed with Amazing. that and i can't think of our own stuff um but i have, to, I have to find a balance because i can't i yeah i have to try to find a balance that's my biggest issue is throwing yeah. myself into everybody else's shit instead of yes. focusing on our own well kind of so. like you said trying to take some for me trying to take some time off for myself because i never do it's always work 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 but yeah, well, and that's something, something in a lot of your rooms, you tell all the parents, you have to find time for yourself. You have you do. to. Do you, what do you do for you? What do you do? So my self-care is at night when I unwind, it doesn't matter how tired I am. I, I open up Netflix. I stop clubhouse around 10 typically. Mm -hmm. And then I'm on Netflix and I'm chilling and I'm eating treats or whatever the hell I'm doing. Maybe spending time with Kevin, maybe not. Whatever I that's my <laughs> <laughs> sounds, sounds like me not spending time with Kevin, but sitting in well, front because of Netflix. I, yes. <laughs> I think a lot of people think self care means massages and facials. No. It's like no, no, dude, it could be sitting on the couch eating cookies, watching Netflix. It, that that's my unwinding <laughs> at night. It's exactly. Like, yeah, I have to get away from everybody. It's my only time alone by myself. Exactly. It's like yeah. Everybody's and sleeping. just do your own thing. Yeah. The um, erotic novel that you guys were reading the other day in one of your posts. 
we were given that advice from a sexual, a sex coach, basically to yes. read a erotic novel together. Yes. Yes. Did it actually spark anything with you guys? Did you end up having does. it later that day? We do. We read a lot together. That's one yeah. thing that we do. This is a truth. We, we really do. We read a lot. Did We've always read to you. first? Uh, no, because he was always a, like a avid reader before we met. So we both okay. like to read. So oh. reading an erotic novel together. Yes. That, so I used to always read like erotic novels and erotica as a whole, but mm-hmm. together it's really fun, actually. It's really fun. That's what I'm like. Gonna... <laughs> that's our, that's not like what we're going to do for the first one. The summer. <laughs> that's what you're going to do this summer. <laughs> we'll get to chapter one. From there. <laughs> you won't even get to chapter one. You get to the first we might okay, get honey, the, let's the go. cover of the book and be like, oh, we're good. <laughs> Time to go. Well, I keep telling him I have an empty book and I want us to write a story, but he's just That's not nice. good for words. Um, a, he's great. He's great. Well, like you, when you realize your husband, like, I don't know if Kevin ever does this. Like, I'm just not, he's just not good at writing cards or writing letters. Right, right, right. Kind of have to get to a point where you just accept it, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got, I got burnt out. She's like my third, <laughs> third relationship. Right. The last time, I guess it's PTSD because the it last time I used to out. do that stuff. <laughs> oh my God. Like I got cheated on when I did that stuff. Oh no. Like, yeah. You know it's like, why would I do that again? Yeah. You no, know, it's like, screw it. Rachel's that. amazing. Right. And she is. She is amazing. Got amazing. Out. So but, smart. But here's yeah. the thing is like with her, I'm different because I'm always home. So yeah. Like yeah. I don't go to the bar. I don't have a hobby. I don't watch mm-hmm. sports. Like there's nothing that I do that requires me to kiss ass. So right. <laughs> right but I feel like that for me, like that he's such more of a like real man because he yeah. doesn't like he is totally into being a dad and a husband. That's isn't you know that I mean? nice. I love that. He's not like, mm-hmm. oh, I didn't get to go out with my friends. Well, it's I, like if everybody... he wants to go out, he can go out. Yeah. Go out, right. But everybody asks me about pictures. I'm like, I'm I'm more of an in the moment kind of guy. And right. You know, I, I don't need to tell, I guess when people would ask me, what'd you do with your kids? I'm like, I, I was with my kids. You oh, know? like do you, you don't pictures? take pictures when you do things with Yeah, them? because it's for me, it's <laughs> it's the experience together. And I don't yeah. want to take away from mm-hmm. that. Like, hey, let's so stop nice. for a second and take a picture. Does Kevin That's ever not- take pictures of you? That's like the only when I ask thing now. Like moms are never in pictures because we're always taking them. Oh, that's, that's advice I say to everybody, new moms. I always say that, take pictures with your kids because you're going to grow up and you're not going to have any photos. I don't have many photos, Rachel. I'm going to be honest. There's not many photos. I don't, I don't think I, so either. I did start to make sure at least I take, that I take at least one or two yeah. here and there. When I'm at the beach looking horrible, like. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, smile. I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> but he tries. I was so excited when he was like, honey smile and he had his camera and I was like oh my god you're actually like so I try attention. to do that stuff for her it's just you know if I'm being real it's just I don't know I just feel like I'd rather talk to you and being for sure versus writing I'm in the same mindset yeah you know, like no I want memories forever I'm convinced I'm gonna lose my memory and he's gonna have to sit with wow. me change my diapers and look at our memory books <laughs> I mean, who he is. Who are you again? No, 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 no. You're so handsome. Let's let's clarify when it comes to change your diaper. I love it. We're we're getting a hot female nurse. I'm fine with that. Start to. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. I I, I love the two of you together. This is so cute. I get to actually see you together, like live. I'm getting all steamed up on my glasses. Are the kids gonna go back to school? Is Canada gonna open up? Are we gonna have like we're open now? How where are we going? Oh, yeah, mom rant events. You're funny. I should do a mom rant event. I should do do a mom rant event. It's been a long time since I've done something. Myself and Kevin and be like the two dads. <laughs> they can serve us. It'll be perfect. That would be really fun. We'll, we'll, we'll carry you around little champagne trays and bring you a mimosa. That would be amazing. Would you like a mimosa? I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. So are the kids going to go back to school? Yes. We are oh, shipping them as fast okay. as we can. Okay. Oh, you mean, you mean if they open up? <laughs> yeah, if they open up. Yeah. Right now, everything is open but our numbers are going up again which okay. is so frustrating I, I know for you guys everywhere it's, yeah, it's insane shit um 
so we'll see, but they are going back. If we, if we definitely, if they're open, we're good. They're going back. And then how else do you see you growing your brand? Like what's next for you? That's an amazing question of which I don't actually have the answer for. The one thing I've always wanted to do, remember we talked about this, is I want to have my own show. I've yeah. always wanted to have my own show. I don't know how that's going to happen, when that's going to happen, or if. But <laughs> something, happen. yeah, yeah, well, yeah. We yeah. talked about it. We talked about the it. The issue okay. is she's in Canada and I'm in America. There's no issue. And that. She, I, their I'm rules trying are to super teach her, strict in Canada. I, I'm trying to teach her on how to like avoid that comment and every <laughs> everything that comes up. We'll figure this it out. This is the issue. No, st- stop. <laughs> Just stop with the issue. Shit. Canada's a stickler. <laughs> We'll, we'll figure there something. are different there are different like we have different rules here you guys have like fcc we have crtc we have different regulation bo- regulatory bodies for doing stuff but also we are far away from each other it's the truth yeah. right so do something yeah. would be a virtual i don't know how much of the this is great right. right right but i definitely that's that's the end goal so where do i want my brand to go where do i want myself to go i don't want to be an actor because i don't i'm not an actor i want to be just a real mom um, you know, holding discussions, having a show possibly where I'm the host of the show or sitting on a panel. I've always liked that. You know, The View, remember we talked about that? Oh, yeah. I'm sharing my opinions or my ideas on topic areas. I'm not afraid to talk about any topic, frankly. Um, you're also fucking yeah. funny. Like you Thanks. just stand up on Clubhouse a little bit. Thanks. Funny I did a little bit. You are so funny. I did a little bit. Yeah. That's something you'd want to explore or really just utilize the comedy with a talk show? Yeah, I mean, I... Kevin wants me to get into stand up so bad. He's like, you need to, this is something you've been your calling for 10 years. The thing is, honestly, I, it's, you know, self deprecating a bit. And it's a little bit, it's not my style right now. I think at this point, I want to do like smart commentary. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I, you know, I, I can still be funny and provide smart stuff yeah. on, on when you're doing stand up, it's, it's, it's different. It's a different right. experience and not everybody enjoys it. Right. Right versus a show of some sort where you know you can talk about issues of the day pop culture whatever it is and have an engaged audience have people actually interacting with you and bringing in different voices because that's what it's all about well and that's what i like on clubhouse you've literally i swear we've had a moment where you were almost all crying and then you flip it and then we're all laughing like that's yeah, yeah, how yeah. quick like that's how quickly you pick One up life that. <laughs> it's amazing though all right so if everybody wants to everybody should go find sandra if you join clubhouse look her up San- dr sandra zickerman but you can also Thank find you. her under the mom rant i found you just before it's super easy to find yep. on instagram at the mom rant and then yep. join your face group, facebook group it's the mom rant and rave we are not alone. Community is very important. And I think a yes. lot of people are coming out of isolation, realizing we need girlfriends. We need yes. community. Mm-hmm. Um, and you're doing an amazing job at giving, getting everybody on board with that. And I, I love you so much. And I want to thank you so much for doing this. I, I love you both. And I want to thank you both. <laughs> and I should just play your voices in my ear whenever I'm having a bad day. When you said, I love you so much. I love you so much. I love I you love so much. You're amazing. I just, love you. you're amazing. You guys are great. This is so fun. I'll schedule a Zoom Reiki meeting. I'll take care of you. Well, and yes. 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 That's what we're, we're moving into that. We'll talk about that later. That's fun. Um, people want to book a session with you. Yes. Um, about being an influencer and actually making money instead of trade. How do they contact you for that? So they can send me a DM on IG. They can send me an email at Sandra at momrant.com. Um, I can set up a Calendly, you know, meeting with them. 15, I'm doing 15 minutes just to like a meeting greet. Right. Um, yeah. So they can see, we can both see if it's mutually, you know, beneficial for both of us. If, you know, there's something that I can do. I don't want to just work with anybody just to work with them. Right. Um, but I really do want to help women, especially women. And I am sorry, but it's the truth. I really do want to help women. <laughs> Um, Damn it! Yeah. Yeah. The male agenda's over. No. Yes, yes, yes. I get it. I, I'm only here to help and serve. Well, especially during COVID, <laughs> women pivoted, right? With yes. like losing jobs, moms don't stop, right? We don't no. quit. We so can't if quit. There's a way to make money on the internet, whether it's selling shit on Etsy or selling yourself as an influencer. Yes. Fucking yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's right. do it. Hundred percent. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Dr. Sandra Zickerman, you're the best. Again, if you want to find her, go to Instagram at the mom rant, DM her for more information. I love you so much. You are the best. I love you so much.
You guys are amazing. <laughs> Thank you for this. It's so fun, guys.